Welcome to this video on mass spectroscopy of elements. There's another video that I've linked for you that comes from Bozeman Science that actually kind of explains this process of gathering data from a mass spectrometer and then it actually goes over how to analyze that data as well. We're just really going to focus on analyzing the data in this particular video. So here's the periodic table and on the periodic table we know that we have these average atomic masses so magnesium is 24.30 and chlorine is 35.45 and so what we're going to do is look at some data that allows us to get to these numbers or pretty close to those numbers. So how do we determine the average atomic mass? Well what we do is we take the isotope mass and we multiply it by its abundance in nature to figure out the mass for each individual isotope that goes into that average mass. And then we take all of those different isotope masses times their abundance and we add them together and then of course we report our answer in AMU and remember we can use that also as our molar mass. So here's the first set of data that we have. We have um, mass spectroscopy of chlorine and so we have our actual AMU for each individual isotope and then we have the abundance that we got from that mass spectrometer. And so we're going to take this information and we're going to multiply the mass times the abundance, but we want to change the abundance from a percent into a decimal. So I'm going to move that decimal over two places to the left for both of these. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply them. So multiply the mass times the abundance for each one. So 34.969 times 0.7578. We're going to get 26.4995. That'll be plenty of place values for us. And then we have 36.966 times 0.2422 and we get 8.9531 okay and I'm just going to keep that value in there and add oops I want to add not multiply add our first number 26.4995 and I end up getting 35.45. So I'm adding these numbers together to get the 35.45 AMU. And that's actually the value that's on the periodic table that we use. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is um, a graphical set of data. In this case, this one has just the mass numbers. We don't have the actual mass value for each one of the isotopes of magnesium. So we have magnesium 24, 25, and 26. And then up here on the graph, we have the abundances. Okay, so there are percentages in these ones. And so again, we're going to make those into a decimal. So I'm going to move my decimal to the left, two places for each one of these. And then we'll go ahead and do our math on these. So for magnesium 24, we're going to have 24 times 0 0.7899. 24 times 0.7899 and I end up with a value of 18.9576 and then for magnesium 25 we're going to have 25 times 0 0.1000 I can do that in my head it's 2.5 and then finally for magnesium 26 we are going to have 26 times 0 0.1101, which gives us a value of 
two, six. Okay, so let's add all these together. Seven. All right, and we get a value. So when I add all three of these together, I get a value of 24.32 AMU. Now, if we go back and look at the periodic table, we'll find out that the actual value is 24.30. And we know that the difference is because we don't have those actual isotope masses and so there's a tiny bit of variation there from what we see on the periodic table but if you were given data like this you can still get very very close i hope that video was helpful for you